Felicitous greetings, fellow fanatics. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Anthony, and today we're taking a look at EX Zodiac, a Star Fox inspired on rails flight sim by Pixel Jam. Please keep in mind that this is a preview based off of an early access release. As such, nothing herein is finalized, and anything seen herein is subject to change. In EX Zodiac, you'll take on the role of Q, an ace starfighter pilot that has to take down a group of interstellar terrorists. Is this flying monkey? your job to defeat the diabolical organization known as Zodiac. The basic gameplay of EX Zodiac will have you flying around to dodge obstacles and enemy attacks while firing lasers to destroy them. In addition to your standard rapid fire laser attack, you can also hold down the attack button to lock onto enemies and launch multiple missiles at once. You're limited to three at first, but over the course of the level, you can collect upgrades that will increase this limit. In addition, you may come across similar upgrades that can repair some of your shields, increase the strength of your basic lasers, or give you additional bombs. As for the bombs themselves, you'll have a handful of these that you can launch, each creating a massive explosion that damages all enemies caught within it, great for dealing with large numbers of foes at once. You'll also be able to boost or break to alter your speed for a short period of time, and you can also, you guessed it, do a barrel roll to momentarily deflect laser fire. At the end of each stage, you'll face off against a boss machine piloted by one of the members of Zodiac. Each of these has multiple stages to them, and they all play quite uniquely from one another. Within each normal stage, you can find a hidden chip which will take you to a bonus level after you defeat the boss. Whereas the main game is clearly inspired by Star Fox, the bonus stages instead pay homage to Space Harrier. Gameplay is simplified here. Just move to dodge and aim, and hit the fire button to shoot straight forward. Bonus stages have their own boss fights, and tend to be a fair bit shorter than the normal stages. Presentation-wise, the game looks great. It very much captures the feel of the Super FX chip. Although I should note for Retro Purists that there's no way this game would be able to run on actual SNES hardware. Although it certainly captures the feel and aesthetic of the original Star Fox, there's a lot more going on screen at once. Not to mention that even with the limitations that Star Fox played to, it still had to deal with a great deal of slowdown. EX Zodiac has none of those limitations, and is more focused on capturing the artistry rather than being a genuine SNES game. Story-wise, I've already told you all that you need to know. There's not much else to say at the moment. Q and her mechanic will often converse mid-stage, though because of how fast-paced the action is in the game, it can often be difficult to read what they're saying since you'll be more focused on flying your fighter. All in all, EX Zodiac is exactly what it wants to be. It's a sort of clone that hits all right notes and perfectly invokes the feeling of the title that it wants to pay homage to. If you're a fan of the original Star Fox or Star Fox 64, you should get this game as soon as possible. If you dislike those games, this one is not going to be your cup of tea. As of the time of writing, there are six normal stages in-game, each with its own bonus stage you can unlock. The finished version is planned to be twice as long. I spent about an hour in-game. In that time, I did go through all of the main levels and found two of the bonus stages. EX Zodiac is very much the sort of game that encourages you to replay levels over and over again, not for the sake of grinding, but simply to see if you can do better than you did last time. If you just want to beat the game and set it aside, you'll find it incredibly short. But if you enjoy learning every little in and out of the levels and perfecting your run, you'll find there's a great deal here to enjoy. As this is an early access title, I'll not be giving EX Zodiac a formal review score at this time. What I can say is that the gameplay is quite solid, and it does just what it set out to do with flying colors, and I eagerly anticipate the finished game. EX Zodiac is currently available for PC via Steam as an early access title. If you're interested in purchasing or learning more, links are included in the description. But what about you? What do you think of EX Zodiac? What on rails flight sims do you enjoy? If you have any questions, remarks, or opposing points of view, leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you really enjoy my work, please consider funding my channel on Patreon. Until next time, farewell, fellow fanatics. Thank you again for watching. I have plenty more to share with you if you're interested. You can click up here above my head to subscribe to my channel. You can click over here on my monitor to see the most recent video that I've worked on. Or if you prefer, you can click up here to open this mysterious vault and see what video that the YouTube algorithm has picked. 
just for you.